The word crypto uh, essentially comes from Bitcoin. Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency uh, that was ever invented. And the entire thought uh, behind this, why have cryptocurrencies in the first place, uh, was born with Bitcoin, where they said, you know, we want to decentralize value transfer. What this means in very, very simple terms is that if I want to pay, uh, let's say, 500 rupees to you today, uh, what I have to do is, let's say I open my Google Pay account and then I transfer it goes to my bank, then your bank and then your Google Pay account, right? So there are two middlemen at least uh, in this transaction, right? We need we need Google to process it correctly and we need the banks to process it correctly. Uh, this is what we want to eliminate. So uh, someone called Satoshi Nakamoto, we do not know who this person is uh, or a group of people uh, maybe. They invented uh, Bitcoin in a way that it is a decentralized value transfer. So today, when I send Bitcoin from my wallet to your wallet, there is no one in between processing. So how does this uh, transaction get processed? It is broadcast to a network of common people uh, who are called miners, right? And these miners process this transaction. Uh, and while they process this transaction, they get a reward in terms of newly created Bitcoin. So this is how this entire economy works. And what we are looking at is decentralization. And uh, another important thing that Bitcoin brings on table is scarcity. Right? Today, uh, we know that uh, governments are providing stimulus. Uh, they are injecting liquidity in the economy, which means that there is just too much fiat money. Uh, our USD, INR is really not backed by anything. Government can go ahead and print as much as needed. What what happens is when they print more money, the purchasing power of my savings and your savings go down, right? So in these times, usually people used to buy gold, right? Because gold supply has always been limited and pretty predictable. No one can just go ahead and make more gold. Bitcoin imbibes the exact same properties so there are only going to be 21 million bitcoins in existence ever so that scarcity makes it way more valuable and also it is decentralized so you have complete custody of your bitcoin and you can hold it wherever you want right from your uh, online wallet to a paper wallet so that's the magic of crypto and that's why it's becoming so popular that people want decentralized uh, value transfers.